So let's have a look at streams. So I'm sure you've all been using RabbitMQ or MQ series or Kafka. There's a million different ways of um, um, consuming and creating streams of data. We added streams into the core Redis in uh, Redis 5. And the goal was to uh, have those characteristics that you liked about streaming, but also at the performance of Redis. And so typical kind of use cases you'll see as message brokers or change data capture or event sourcing. Uh, because there's key features inside the streams that allow you to do things like consumer groups, have a capped collection of a stream, i.e. a scrolling window through your stream of data, uh, and be able to actually manipulate and remove data in that stream. Um, again, this is kind of with all the scalability of Redis built in. So you want to consume um, a huge stream of data like in IoT or events that have been generated out of systems, you want to be able to, A, consume those, and then be able to process those at the rate. So that's one way we've extended Redis. Uh, 